Hi, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome back to another Java Swing tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn about the Java Swing border layout. I'm going to cover the following. What is a border layout? How can we set the layout manager for a container? And those containers are usually a JFrame or a JPanel. And then we'll look at some of the common methods of the border layout class. So enough talk, let's start coding. Border Layout Manager is a layout container that arranges its components to fit in five regions. And you can see by the graphic currently on the screen that those regions are north, south, west, east, and center. Now each region may contain no more than one component and it is identified with a corresponding constant which is specified when adding the component to a container which is usually a JFrame or a JPanel. The absence of the string specification is treated as the center region. I've created a new project and set up our standard JFrame code. The default layout manager for a JFrame is a border layout. So if you do not explicitly set it, it's still there. But I want to look at how we would explicitly set the layout manager for a JFrame or a JPanel. So let's Start with frame dot set layout new border layout. And the border layout has two constructors. The first is a no argument constructor. And the second allows you to specify both a horizontal and a vertical gap for the components that are added to the various five areas. So for our initial run through this program, I'm not going to specify a horizontal or vertical gap. I'm just going to use the no argument constructor. And let's now look at how we would add a component to one of the five areas. We would specify the frame object, frame.add, and the component that we're going to add, I'm going to create a button here on the fly. And I'm going to add this one to the north area, so I'm going to use the text north on the button. And now we have to specify the area that we're going to add the component to in the JFrame border layout. Now that's specified using a constant, as I've already told you earlier in this video. Border layout dot north. Organize our imports and we'll run at this point and you'll see a button that takes up the entire north region of our border layout. So using the same methodology let's add components to the other four areas. I'm just going to for simplicity copy and paste this four more times and we're going to add to the west east, south, and center. Again, the corresponding constant from the border layout class. Let's run it again. Now we should have a button in each of the five areas. So north, west, east, south, and center occupies the remaining space. So north and south will stretch to occupy all of the horizontal space and the vertical space is determined by the vertical size of the component itself. Similarly, with the west and the east sections, they stretch to fill the vertical height, but the horizontal width is determined by the horizontal size of the component. The center will occupy any space that is remaining, and that is to say any space that is not already taken up by the north, south, west, or east sections. So the border layout has five separate areas, and as I mentioned, each area can contain 
only a single component. Now that might seem like a big limitation, but when you think about it, that component can be another container such as a J panel, and that J panel can contain many other components. So it's really not a limitation at all. And the only methods of the border pane class that are worth looking at are the set horizontal gap and set vertical gap methods. And if you want to set the horizontal and vertical gap, it's more convenient to do that at the time that you create and set the border layout, such as we do here. And I'll just add these in right now. I'll put a five pixel horizontal and vertical gap. We'll run it again and you'll see the difference. Now we see gaps in between each of the five areas. The other way that we can do that is to instantiate a border layout. So border layout, border layout equals new border layout. Border layout dot set horizontal gap at 10. Border layout dot set vertical gap at 10. And then we would set layout on our frame to the object that we just created. And now running, we will see the same effect as before, except in this case we've increased the horizontal and vertical gaps to 10. In this video tutorial, we learned about the Java Swing border layout. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please click the thumbs up button to like the video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel to view more Java Swing videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.